Hey, visionaries. Um, I'm so excited to jump on for this video, not only because I love chatting with you and I love when you're asking questions in the group and engaging and it just shows me that you're, you're doing the work and you're in the thick of it. And first of all, props to you because, hey Deb, it is hard work, hey Nazik, to keep yourself accountable in this program. And so I first just wanna say that I'm so proud and excited to see all of you sticking to the program, right? Because what often happens when people buy an online course is that they're really motivated at the beginning and then by the end, they've kind of given up on themselves and they forget why they joined, right? And so if you're ever having one of those days where you're like, oh, just not feeling that motivated today, remind yourself, why did you join this course? <laughs> why did you pay money? Why did you give time? And be accountable to yourself to finish this thing off. So anyways, that's my little pep talk. But why I'm really here to um, connect with you all is to explain the X and Y axis um, portion of the one workbook, okay? And the purpose of this little exercise is really to show you that you can put yourself in a league of your own because yeah, there are lots of people doing what you're doing. There are lots of people launching businesses every day and we're hit with sometimes this fear of what makes mine different, okay? Has anyone ever felt that before? And here is what, and okay, like let me use myself as an example. Launching a business coaching program, I thought, holy shit, there's a lot of people doing this already. And how am I gonna set myself apart? And what makes the visionary method unique? When there are people like Marie Forleo or Jenna Kutcher or Amy Porterfield, all people that I admire, who are enrolling thousands and thousands of people into their online coaching programs. Granted, it's not the same, but it still um, is something that limited me because I was fearful of how I was going to set myself apart. Okay, so you're gonna draw your axes, one going that way, one going that way, I think it's X and Y, right? And along one axis, I want you to write a quality that you feel really sets your program that you're creating, what's gonna set it apart? And you're gonna have to think about this, it's not just gonna come to you necessarily. Maybe yours is going to be the cheapest program. That would be one way to set you apart. Maybe yours is going to be um, like super interactive. Maybe your model is that your product or service is the most convenient option. Along my X axis, I wrote, access, accessibility to a live coach. So I believe that one thing that sets the visionary method apart is that you get access to me. You can email me, you can reach out to me in the group. I've been helping people this past week on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And like, that's a lot, right? To offer in a coaching program, but that's something that I know sets my program apart and that I need to be talking about. So I put live coaching and accessibility on the right side. And then the other end of that line would be no access to the coach. A program that's running on automation where you get to watch videos, but there's no live interactive element. You wouldn't be able to ask these questions. So again, along one line is my strength of the visionary method, having it super accessible, live coaching, and on the left side, I wrote no access, an evergreen, basically a turnkey program where you don't get to talk to the coach. Something like some high level people, like the ones I mentioned, Jenna Kutcher, Amy Porterfield, they're not really working their coaching programs anymore. They have them on autopilot or evergreen as we call it. So that's one thing that sets me apart. Then I wrote a second uh, key feature of the program, 
And that's that the visionary method covers a really broad spectrum of all your key business skills. So it's not just about email marketing. This is not just about writing your business plan. It's everything. It is for people who need to shake up their foundation, to write their foundation, to redo their foundation, and really learn about all the key elements that you need to have in place and take action on to find success. So for me, I have broad topics, broad coverage, and tons of content, okay? So that is at the top of my y-axis. At the bottom, I'm writing specific or niche content. Like someone who has a course just on podcasting would be in this niche, but like I have a workbook on podcasting, so that it's broad spectrum. So all of a sudden I've got this grid where I've got no access, tons of access to a live coach, and then I have really niche, like limited content, and then tons of content, broad spectrum, lots of workbooks. So, I, and like you have to kind of boast about yourself in this one, I believe that I have really accessible coaching, so I'm around for my students, so that puts me on this end of the spectrum, and I have broad coverage of business skills and all your key marketing sales strategies. So I am in this top quadrant, which is where I want you to find yourself. When I look at someone like Jenna Kutcher, who I could easily try to compare myself to every day because she is incredible. But if I look at a course she recently launched called the Podcast Lab, I think it's called, what I realize about that course is that you don't really get access to her. So I'm over here because it's an automated course. And it's super specific and niche. So yeah, you're learning about podcasting, but that's all you're learning about for like the same price as you could join the visionary method. So she's down in this quadrant. So why am I comparing myself to these superstar celebrities when I'm in a totally different quadrant? What I offer is really, really different, okay? So that is what I want you to do. And then plot some other businesses who you've been comparing yourself to. Another course that I've seen promoted online, it's called The Uncaged Life. I realized that she has turned this into an automated course. So in terms of live coaching, not much. So that puts her over here. And then in terms of coverage, I've seen the curriculum and it's like half of what the visionary method is, but promise is all the same. So I'm putting her right in the middle here between specific and broad. So she's still not in my quadrant. So this is meant to hopefully kind of make you feel like what you've got is unique. And if you don't know what makes you unique, this is your time to think about it. Okay, so this page will become really important in the rest of your journey in the visionary method. So I hope that helps. Uh, Jill, you just hopped on late, so you have to rewatch this video. I really hope it helps. And if you still have questions, just post them below this video and I'll pop back in and answer them. All right, good luck.